try to figure out how to how to fit into society. And like you said, the real meaning of Wonderstruck, I guess, is just it's a journey uh, of two deaf people um, from different time periods, and they're both going through different things that are kind of alike. I did, yes. I actually, I read, I, I'd say like around three quarters of it, um, didn't get to the, the end yet. Um, like just when it was like really starting to get really good. Um, uh, then I read the script and then after that was done, I, ha I had to read the rest of it. So then I read the rest of it. I mean, the book and the movie are so alike. Um, and yet the book has aspects that are um, really nice, and the movie is also really cool. Todd well, is the best. <laughs> I loved working with Todd. Todd was such a chill guy. Like, you know, you would just feel so good just to sit next to him and talk about your character. And we would sit down and we would be like, yeah, I think my character would do this. And then Todd would sit down yeah, with us. Let's we, try it. Yeah, well, let's try it. And then we would read the script and then we'll be like, okay, this is what just happened. Keep that in mind as you go in. It was just so such a good energy with Todd and everything was just so fun. Yeah, yeah. Every, everybody on set was just family. We I, all cried once we, <laughs> when when we finished shooting, we all just mm -hmm. burst into tears. I mean, Todd is just, he's such a cool guy and has amazing visions about what um, he wants to see in the film. And then like like you said, he would just let us try things and just let us do all sorts of different things and then he would direct us in the right way to make the things that we thought were awesome even better. He's like the uncle I never had. <laughs> Definitely when we were running around in the museum, like I would run this yes. way and then you'd see Oaks going this way and then I'd be like, oh no, I'm over here. And then you had to run this way. That was the best scene, especially when we were just like, we would stop, we would just look at that little miniature and then we were like, Diary. wow. And then, you know, you we'd were, realize you that you we're back run. in the chase and we'd run back. And that, those were one of my favorite scenes to shoot. Um, I probably have two. Um, the one that you, you were talking about. And then um, I think my second favorite scene would probably be walking out on the panorama. Yeah. Because um, when I got to do that, it was just amazing. I mean, there's not very many people who got to walk out on that giant panorama. And I was so lucky to be able to do that. And I mean, just the little tiny buildings. And, and it was so accurate. Like, yeah, I was... found my grandma's block. I found my grandma's building. Mm -hmm. They they even had like, like so um, on 125th Street, it's like an overhead train stop and they even had that. I'm like, 
Wow, how much attention to detail went into this. Mm -hmm. And they, um, Julianne, uh, she like took my hand and she walked me out. And then she was like, that's my house. She literally like looked at all the streets, figured it out, and then she found her house. And it's just amazing. You can, all the, the detail that the Queens Museum had put into that for, for, well, the World's Fair at the time was just awesome. And then it was just amazing how Brian implemented that into the script and the book, just like, took something that was really awesome and put it into his story and made it his own, um, which I think was really cool and um, just, yeah, that was probably my favorite. <laughs>